Hey everybody, it's your girl Kara Washington Speaks and look, I have done now three videos in correlation to Verizon. Of course, that's not all my content, but that is the content that seems to get the most uh, views and the most comments. So here I go again, I'm gonna do another video. I wanna give you all three quick tips that will have you grossing at minimum, I would say a $1,500 commission check every month. Here is, here is the sauce to this really quickly. Are y'all listening? Are you tuned in? Are you here? Okay, I'm glad you're here. Have a seat for a second. Three things that's gonna get you making money at Verizon. Number one, you gonna need to have the right attitude, okay? And I know people might say, oh, that's cliche, you need to have the right attitude. No, the reason why I'm saying this and I mean this with everything I got in me, that you have to have the right attitude, is because when you are working in sales and you are working with people, first of all, you have to have the right attitude because if people don't like your attitude and they think your attitude stinks and they are under the assumption that you do not want to help them, they will not buy anything from you. Literally, since I've been working at Verizon, I have had people buy stuff from me just because I had willingness to want to help. I was genuine and wanting to help. Now, what we have to understand about sales is this. There's duality in sales. Of course, you wanna help people, but on the back end, you wanna get paid. I promise you, if you put your customer's needs first, you will always get paid. Number two, number two, family, stay tuned in, we almost finished. Number two, if you work inside a retail corporate store, which this video is for folks who work inside a corporate store, you need to stay, you're behind, in the front, at the door. Now, what we do in my store, and I'm sure they do at pretty much every Verizon store, is we do something called batter up. Okay, it's called batter up. And what it means in short is this, batter up is a system where whoever the first rep is on the door, that's the rep that gets the customer coming in. And then the next rep, if there happens to be another rep up there with them, they slide over in position, next customer comes in, they get them. Whenever the next rep is finished with their customer, they report back to the, the batter up station, the next rep is relieved, that rep is able to help the next customer, so on and so on. Let me tell you with a person who has continuously been in the top five salespeople in my store uh, for a while now, the reason why I've been able to consistently hold that spot, especially since I've been back from a surgery last year, the reason why I've been able to hold that spot family is because I stay my black self up front. Okay, I stay up front because I understand that even if a person is coming in the store to just do a bill pay or they have a technical question about their device, something about an email or something like that. For some reason, people always get out to the emails. But if they are having just a tech question, that still can be an opportunity to present a product. That can still be an opportunity to do a plan change. That can still be an opportunity to convert insurance. So what I want you all to understand is this. Talk to your coworkers, right? Have conversations with them and, you know, you shoot the shit with them. Okay, cool. But don't shoot the shit with them and be so cool with them that you miss the opportunities coming to the door. Because I can promise you, the people that you work with, they will never pay you. They're not responsible for paying you. Their dramas and all the other stuff they got going on inside and outside the job is not any of your concern. So when you come to work, number one, have a good attitude. Be personable. Be nice. Be polite. Smile. Number two, stay here behind at the door. Stay at the door so that you can get the traffic that's coming in. Number three, last but not least, check your commissions daily, okay? Check your commissions daily. This is one thing I never get about some people. We have people in my store, right? And they're constantly at the bottom. And I can tell you why they're constantly at the bottom, because they don't check their commissions. If you are a person that not only says you're about your money, but you are actually about your money, you check your money every day. You know where you are every day. You're calculating to see how much money you're gonna make by a certain time. And then within that time frame, you say, I need this many this, this many that, this many this, this many that to make this much money. Every single day, people, you should be looking at your projected check. Because the reality of it is if you're not looking at your projected check, you have no idea what you're chasing. And the people who are constantly at the bottom, they don't know what they're chasing. They're just going out there selling. They're just selling. They don't have an idea in the amount of what they really need to sell. So here's the thing. 
And here's a, here's a quick gem for you. If you have no idea of what you need to sell, then you really don't know how much money you need to make, which means you're just throwing and aiming stuff in the dark. If you don't know what you need to make and how much money you need to make, you don't know what to discover or what to present to customers. And so the struggle that I see with a lot of reps, not just in my store, but I've worked at a few stores now, um, helping out and stuff like that. And I've noticed that a lot of them, they do not spend time really talking to people. This is one thing I've learned in sales. And I'm gonna tell you this before I go. People always tell you what they want. They always tell you what they want. And the people who are dead centered on not buying shit, they're not gonna buy anything just because you keep pressing it and pressing it. But the people who are open to conversation, the people who are enjoying talking to you, looking at you, spending time with you, appreciating your help, these are the folks that are potential customers. And here's another one. Here's another quick caveat that I want to give you real quick. Don't waste your time on the people who don't want to buy. I'm not saying be rude and push them out the door. Help them, yes. Make sure that you do your job 100%, yes. But what I'm simply saying is stop trying to force a sale that's not there. I have been around multiple reps that will spend 30 minutes, 45 minutes, an hour trying to sell something to a person that doesn't want it. And now you're holding up the process because what you're doing is you're not taking their no as a no. Some people are dead on set on saying, I come in here, I want to get my bill down. I don't want to bill this this much. I don't care what you're saying. I'm not going to buy it. Understand that those people mean what they say. So understand that your job is to number one, smile, be personable. Number two, stay up front. Number three, make sure that you check your commissions daily so that you can make a bomb check, okay? I'm your girl, Kara Washington Speaks. Leave your comments in the comment area and let me know if anything in this video has helped you, okay? I'm out. Y'all let me know how y'all making money at Verizon, okay? I'm out. Peace.